Hi, welcome to our channel of IGNU Audiobooks. Indira Gandhi National Open University, School of Continuing Education, Certificate Programs, Certificate in Food and Nutrition, CFN, CFN to Your Food and Its Utilization. Block, 4, Nutrition from School Age to Old Age, Unit, 11 Nutrition Through Life Cycle, The School Age. This unit will deal with nutritional needs of school age children i.e. children in the age group of 7 to 12 years. In this period child's daily routine changes because of school, studies and extracurricular activities. Moreover there, nutrient stores are built up for the growth spurts that will follow. 11.0 Objectives After studying this unit, you will be able to times describe the normal growth pattern of school age children times state the nutritional requirement for this age group times suggest how to meet their nutrient needs and times plan a practical feeding schedule including a nutritious packed lunch 11.1 .1, introduction in the previous units we have learned the nutritional needs and growth of children after grouping them according to their chronological age. You can also call the school age period as middle childhood. We cannot clearly define the age limit for the school age period. The period begins at 6 years and ends at the onset of pubertal changes. Therefore, the end of this period varies between sexes and between individual children. This is because girls mature earlier than boys, and even among girls, some will mature earlier than others. However, for convenience we can say that school-age children are those who are between 6 and 12 years. After 13 years, children enter their adolescent years. You may then call them teenagers. Some people have called the school years of a child the serene or calm period because they have fewer problems than they would have either in the preschool period or during adolescence. You will see that the physical ability of the child improves and makes the child more skillful. Thus the child may take more active part in sports. He she will be more independent than before. In this period, you will see a steady increase in their height and weight. 1. Important aspect in the child's life is the daily routine of school and perhaps extracurricular activities. You want the child to perform well in studies. Concentrate in school. For all this adequate food intake is a must. Not just that, but you must ensure that the child has adequate nutrient stores for the growth spurt that will follow. In this unit we shall learn about the growth of the school age child and its nutritional needs. We shall also consider the relevance of packed lunches and school meals for this age group. 11.2 Growth of school age children Children between 6 years and the onset of the adolescence grow relatively slowly. In the first few years i.e. about 7 to 9 years you may not find great differences in growth rates of boys and girls. However after this, girls will grow faster than boys and sometimes you may find that by 10 or 11 years a girl may be taller and heavier than a boy of the same age. One characteristic that you will notice is that there is individuality in growth rate of children in these years. There is little growth in head size, but the trunk and legs grow. Remember brain growth is completed during the preschool years. Skeletal maturation occurs during these years. Annually they increment. In height may be approximately 5 to 6 centimeters, with girls gaining a little more than boys. Weight increases are usually between 2 and 3 kilograms per year. You must take care to ensure that the child should gain appropriate weight as 
per his age and height by comparing with the standards as discussed in Unit 5 of Block 2. The weight as per age should neither be low or above the standard. You are listening to this audiobook on Audio Learn Ignu. 11.3 Nutritional Needs of Children. As such, children in this age group have no special nutritional needs. Since children are growing at this age, they require all the nutrients. Give them a well balanced diet. Children who play a lot and are very active will need more energy than children of the same age who are less active i.e. one who spends a lot of time in reading or watching television or painting or drawing if the child is getting an adequate diet school age children have a low risk of having nutritional problems however any inadequacy in a child's diet will affect him her more quickly and more severely than it would an adult blood formation keeps pace with the need for increased blood supply for the child's growing body children from this age group have more resistance to disease than the preschoolers another important point to bear in mind is that girls should have an adequate iron intake so that they have sufficient iron stores before they reach menarch undernutrition may have serious consequences if the child is undernourished, he she will become easily tired and will not be able to perform well in school or be able to do the physical activities well or fully. Such a child may be more susceptible to infection also. In Unit 3 we gave you a food guide. Use this guide to see that you give the child a well-balanced diet. Remember that different children will have different appetites and needs so use the suggested daily portions as a rough guide up to the age of 10 or 11 years boys and girls do not differ much in the food needs a sample menu for a school going child we have given you here a sample menu for a school going child breakfast paratha upma milk egg banana guava orange lunch Chapati. Leafy vegetable and dal preparation. Carrot. Salad. Dahi lassi. Tea. Tea. Biscuits chicky bread and butter. Dinner. Rice. Chapati. Vegetable. Dal. Milk dahi. Salad. In the day a child should get the following foods in addition to an adequate intake of cereals. Look at the screen for table content. 11.4 Meeting Nutrient Needs During the early part of this age span, you may find that the child has a poor appetite like the preschooler. On the whole, however, the child will be eating more amount of food and in most cases will accept a wider variety of dishes. Usually you find less feeding problem with the school age child. Likes and Dislikes have been established by this time but remember that they are not necessarily permanent. Therefore, establish good, healthy eating habits. Do give as wide a variety of foods as possible. Starting school, especially full-time, can bring a number of changes in your child's eating habits. A large part of the child's time will be spent in school. Therefore, the meal timings should be adjusted according to the child's schedule. You must see that the child has a good breakfast. Remember, a hungry child cannot concentrate and participate fully in the learning experience. Include not only cereal but also a protein-rich food and a fruit, which supplies some vitamin C at breakfast time. Lunch should supply about one-third of the child's requirement. For many children, it is necessary to provide a packed lunch. When the child comes home from school, depending on the time, you should give some snack or a small meal. It is worthwhile to check the lunch box when the child returns from school.
This is mainly to keep track of food intake. Often you will find that the child becomes so involved with other activities that it is difficult to get him her to sit down and eat. Also when you force them they may eat a little and rush back to whatever they were doing. Later, they may feel hungry and want a snack. If you do give snacks, encourage the child to eat nutritious ones instead of chocolate or wafers. Do not give fizzy drinks. Children learn by example. So if you take the attitude that foods such as wafers or chocolate are to be eaten occasionally and you put a definite limit on the amount of sweets you will develop healthy eating habits in the child. In the daily diet include 2 to 3 servings of fruits or vegetables and try and include green leafy or yellow vegetables about 3 to 4 times a week. Make sure you include a citrus fruit or some other good source of ascorbic acid. Many children may dislike vegetables. However you must try and get them to eat these foods. One way of doing so is by preparing colorful and attractive tasty dishes. Another important aspect is that at this age they may need to eat four or five times a day. Permanent teeth start erupting at about six years. You must guard against caries. Formation in children at any age but especially in school children because they have permanent teeth. Caries formation occurs because of poor dental hygiene especially after consumption of sweet foods. You can prevent this by ensuring that the child brushes and cleans his teeth well in the morning and night. Also do not give too many sweet foods. Check your progress exercise 1. 1. What are the nutritional requirements of school age children? How are they related to the growth of children? 2. Plan a day's menu for a 10-year-old girl. Will the nutritional requirement for a 10-year-old boy differ from that of a girl? How and why? 11.5. Dietary Guidelines for School Age Children some simple nutritional guidelines for school age children are given below. You may advocate these eating habits among children during their period of growth. 1. Don't skip breakfast. This ensures non-irritable behavior and good attention span in school. 2. Carry a nutritious and interesting tiffin and avoid eating in canteen. 3. Avoid junk foods. 4. To prevent dental caries avoid fried, oily and sweet foods. 5. Eat protective foods which include fruits and vegetables. 6. Drink plenty of water. 7. Include items from all food groups in the daily diet and serve food in appropriate amounts to meet the needs of the children. You are listening to this audiobook on Audio Learn Ignu. 11.6 school meals and packed lunch. For most children, lunch time will be during school hours. You already know that the lunch should provide the child with one third of his her daily nutrient needs. Most of the time you will have to provide a packed lunch to your child. You must keep a few points in mind while planning a packed lunch. 1. It should be easy to eat and not spill over or leak. Avoid any oily or liquid preparations, unless you give it separately in a bottle. Oil and liquid will leak out of the box and spill over your children's books. Chutneys, sauces etc. should be as dry as possible. 2. Let the food be as dry as possible, your child may may not have a place to sit down and eat and wash hands as he can at home. Three. Many things which taste good when they are hot are not so tasty when they are cold. A packed lunch will always be cold. Hence make it as attractive as possible. If you or other adults in the family already take a packed lunch, you will have some experience. 
Many people take chapati roti and some vegetable. This is all right, but it is not enough. You need to add some fruit, which will not get mashed, and sometimes a chicky piece or biscuits laddu for your child. Laddu, chicky, etc. can be made beforehand and kept. Fruits like banana, guava, chiku, musambai, orange, apple are all easy to carry. If you give a salad vegetable like tomato, do not cut it into small pieces. A small whole tomato, the size of a lemon can be put in the lunch box. Chutney, e.g., coriander or mint chutney can be put in a separate small container inside the lunch box. Some schools also provide lunches to the students under school meal programs. However, you must make sure that the lunch the school gives is well balanced. Many schools may just give a snack especially fried snacks. This is not ideal. Even among snacks foods like idli, samba, chutney, vegetable sandwiches or dokla are better than biscuits, etc. Some schools may provide a full lunch as you would at home such as rice, dal, chapati, vegetable. This is very good. 11.7 Let US some UP Growth in the school years occurs at a slow but steady pace. Except in the early school years, appetite of the school child is quite healthy. Nutrient Requirements are in proportion to their growth rate and energy requirements and will vary according to their physical activity. If the school child is malnourished, he she will not be able to perform well in school. Providing adequate nutrition is important so that the child will be able to build up adequate nutrient reserves which will be needed during the adolescent growth. Spurt 11.8 Answers to Check Your Progress Exercises Check Your Progress Exercise 1 1. During school age 6 to 12 years children are continuously but slowly growing so they require a well-balanced diet. Girls of this age should have an adequate iron intake so that they have sufficient iron stores before they reach menarche. If the child is undernourished it will affect his her physical growth and performance in school. 2. Sample menu for a 10-year-old child. Breakfast, paratha upma bread 2 slices. Milk egg. Fruit. Lunch, chapati 2. Leafy vegetable a half cutlery. Dal 1 cutlery. Dahi 1 cutlery. Tea, tea milk. Biscuits sandwich of 2 slices. Dinner, rice 3 quarters cutlery, dal 1 cutlery, vegetable a half cutlery, salad, dahi a half cutlery. At 10 or 11 years, the growth of girls is faster than that of boys so a 10-year-old girl will require more calories in the diet than boys. At this age girls will also require more iron-rich foods to build up their iron stores. Calories may be provided by consuming more of cereals and pulses and iron by green leafy vegetables. Thank you. We will see you in the next video.